You've been fired up about this taunting rule here in the NFL. How did the, where did this originate from? Where was the groundswell, Mike? Well, and I'm fired up for a very specific reason. I think the NFL has done a very poor job from a PR standpoint, from an education standpoint, from a bracing the media and the audience for what was to come standpoint. This rule has been on the books since 1993. This is at least the second time in the last eight years that the NFL has made enforcement of the taunting rule a point of emphasis, which is a fancy way of saying, hey, you officials aren't doing your jobs right. We want you to do your jobs better. We want you to be more consistent. We want you to flag Tyree Kill when he sticks the deuces in the face of a defensive back as if you're running to the end zone because they hadn't done that consistently. So it's not a new rule. It's not a restriction on celebration. The NFL dramatically relaxed the celebration rules in 2017. This is a very specific type of conduct that the league banned 28 years ago. They're just trying to get the officials to consistently enforce it. And it drives me nuts that the NFL did not do a better job of explaining it because it puts me in the position to have to explain it. So I bear the brunt of all the no fun league crap that they should be taking because they should have made it more clear and understandable. And I think they would have gotten more people to buy into it if they'd done it on the front end, not try to do it on the back end. And we're not trying to do much now anyway to get people to understand it. They're just going forward. Why don't you taunt the taunting penalty rule? Well, I'm taunting the taunt. Here, taunting penalty. Oh, okay. Take that. All right. I brought this up. People keep calling me the old man, get off my lawn. Uh, Lamar Jackson, to me, doing a somersault in the end zone. Uh, that feels like you're taunting the entire defense by saying, I'm so alone, I can flip into the end zone. Uh, is that taunting? Well, they're focused more on the actions that are directed at an opponent or at the sideline. It's know it when you see it. You know, I remember in 2013, they actually had to explain the difference between spinning the football generally <laughs> as a show of celebration versus spinning the football at the feet of an opponent, which makes it taunting. Again, it's know it when you see it. And the problem is the NFL leaked yesterday to Mike Jones of USA Today that nine of the 11 taunting calls that have been made so far are accurate. Well, okay, that's fine. Two of them aren't. That's more than 18%. That's not good. And then they won't say which ones weren't yeah. taunting. Well, why not say so? So we all understand what it is and what it isn't. This is what drives me crazy about the NFL. They aren't sufficiently sensitive to what it takes to get people to understand where they're coming from. And some of the coaches have done a great job of explaining this week why the rule is what it is, but that gets lost in the background. People just want to say no fun league and you want to keep players from celebrating when the reality is they want to keep players from doing something that pisses off that opponent. So maybe he's looking to give the guy a little payback after the whistle yeah. the next time he gets a chance to do it.